Waco PD is addressing false reports on social media regarding a sex trafficking ring about a church group going door to door. Yeah, Waco PD says they responded to a situation Sunday where people were asking about God the Mother. Fox 44's Mally Jones, she's in the studio, the newsroom rather, to break down the case from what is true and what is false. Mally? Adam, Waco police investigated these allegations and found no connection to sex trafficking. In fact, a detective for sex trafficking tells me that less than 1% of sex trafficking happens by abduction. Also, he says that this is simply just sensationalism. Trafficking does not occur this way. People are not out trying to kidnap you, they're not out trying to dupe you into following them somewhere well they'll, they'll kidnap you then and put you in trafficking the waco police department says it responded to a report about suspicious activity at an apartment complex this weekend when they arrived they found a few people trespassing on the property knocking on doors asking about god the mother and becoming a member of their group how often do people go door to door talking about churches it's it's very common um, you see, you know, the Mormon faith out doing it all the time. Nobody questions that as to whether or not it's human trafficking. We are not mentioning the name of the church because officials say it is not linked to the sex trafficking allegations. They have gone through and investigated the situation. They've talked with the complex, the residents involved, and also the individuals that uh, were in question as well. This is where it got twisted. Social media posts have spread saying this is a sex trafficking scam. This person even went as far to say police confirmed it as sex trafficking, which they did not. Yeah, none of our officers told any of the people involved that this was a sex trafficking scheme. This social media rumor has gone far beyond just Waco. For years, multiple police departments across the country have investigated similar reports about this group and found no link to sex trafficking. Also, if there is an incident like this happening, Scaramucci says law enforcement will notify the public about it. Because I can assure you, if kids were getting kidnapped and if Baylor students were being taken into trafficking, law enforcement would be fighting tooth and nail trying to let A, the public know and B, trying to find these people. Although this did not turn out to be sex trafficking, law enforcement is reminding everyone that if you do feel uncomfortable, you can call them. They are there to help and they will figure out if you are in danger. In our top story tonight, we are talking more about a uh, local report of a Baylor student who says she was attempted, uh, someone attempted to human traffic her. Yeah, local law enforcement is working to stop online rumors after a Baylor student reported an attempt at human trafficking. A very scary situation. Our very own Andrew Moore has been covering this story today, and he has the very latest. Yes, police say a student was approached by members of God the Mother Church on Sunday. She was suspicious, closed the door to her complex, and then reported the incident. Police say that this is not a human trafficking incident, but it's also not the first time that this church has been reported before. McLennan County Detective Joseph Scaramucci told us today, God the Mother Church has been tied to claims of human trafficking as far back as 2018, but they always turned out to be false. There are posts online as well as many stories debunking these rumors. God the Mother Church seems to teach a female image of God and was started in Korea. Scaramucci says there was nothing wrong with making the report, but the rumors have already gotten out of control. He asks that people wait for law enforcement to investigate before making such claims online. There have been allegations for several years that they are tied to human trafficking. Um, there has been absolutely zero indication that they've been tied to human trafficking and anything that they're doing is completely in, inconsistent with what we know trafficking to be. Scaramucci said traffickers normally target their victims online first and generally do not operate by going door to door. Still, officials say there's nothing wrong with being suspicious and they hope this won't deter people from reporting other things they see as suspicious in the future. Scaramucci said he was not able to find any local God the Mother Church in the area to contact and we were not able to find one as well. At Baylor, Andrew Moore, 6 News. All right, thanks, Andrew. One concerned mother's Facebook post, which generated discussion all over campus and social media on Sunday, and even prompted a response from the Waco PD, has turned out to be a false alarm. The Baylor student mentioned in the post interviewed with the Lariat, but requested to remain anonymous. She said she was in her apartment at Ursa and answered the door to three strangers who invited her to a Bible study. They mentioned the belief in God the Mother. 
She said no, closed and bolted the door, and proceeded to research this church alongside her parents who called the police and shared the situation online. However, Joseph Scaramucci, a human trafficking detective at McLennan County Sheriff's Office, said it was not a sex trafficking scheme. It's completely false. It's a hoax. Um, that has made the rounds for the last several years and has been proven time and time again to be a hoax. Sierra Shipley, the public information officer at Waco PD, spoke with officers on site and confirmed Scaramucci's statement. So our officers don't believe that any sex trafficking was going on or anything like that. And also, when I did some more research on the God, the mother, it sounds like it was a kind of a hoax, a social media hoax, it blew up pretty quickly online. While this was not an incident of sex trafficking, Scaramucci said it is still a very real issue that all students should be conscious of. Um, I would just say that one of the biggest things is make sure you know who your friends are, who you're talking to, um, and who you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis because those are the people that are more likely to traffic you than somebody knocking on a door wanting to talk about God. If you find yourself in a similar situation to what this Baylor student experienced, always call Baylor PD, Waco PD, or in the event of an emergency, call 911. Just like this student did, I mean, always, you know, if you see something suspicious, hear something suspicious, please report it to us because at least that it is, as long as it's brought to our attention, we can now be on the lookout for it. For Lariat TV News, I'm Danica Young.